What's going on, guys? Now, I just wanted to make a quick note of what Nintendo is doing with Nintendo Labo, however you want to pronounce it. They're giving a very creative toy to children so the Nintendo Switch can appeal to more kids and taking full advantage of the AR camera, as well as the motion sensors and HD rumble. There seems to be a lot of dislikes on that video, and I don't have any problem with someone disagreeing with how innovative or cool it may be. But there are people in the comments of that video asking for specific games and complaining about games they didn't get yet. And there are a lot of videos out there that are asking for specific games and showing this month's Direct Mini's shortcomings. It's kind of troubling to see that because Nintendo has done so much for us this past year, and I don't mean to sound cheesy, but we should all be thankful for what they've given us so far. We already have a big amount of games, including indie titles. Now just because they want to act more Nintendo and come out with the Labo, or Labo, doesn't mean they're not going to focus on the games that we will eventually get. That person, Emily, mentioned some games that were rumored and that are going to be announced. And there are some games that weren't rumored and that we didn't even think were coming to the Switch that's going to be announced later. It's actually troubling me that there are people complaining about things that are currently available for the Nintendo Switch because I believe that there is every type of category for it so far. And I'm very happy with what I've gotten so far. I'm actually not done with the games that came out last year. And I'm happy that Bayonetta 1 and 2 is coming in less than 30 days. And that January Mini was pretty darn impressive, if you ask me. And that was only a Mini. That means they have a lot to announce in E3 and a lot of trailers to upload to their channel. Just like the main trailer that announced the Nintendo Switch, which is ideally the biggest announcement they've ever had in their company's lifetime. So I wouldn't assume that the January Direct Mini, it was so subtly called, will explain everything that's coming this year. If you know Nintendo and how they're going about things, they are quote-unquote switching it up and trying to surprise us every chance they get. I don't know what kind of force field and magicians they have, but so far a lot of what they announced has not been rumored. So yeah guys, just be patient and be grateful for what you have on the Nintendo Switch so far, because I am, and a lot of other people are. For the people that are waiting for Fire Emblem 2018, Grand Theft Auto 5, and all of those other ports, or new gameplay Play trailers like Metroid Prime, I think you have definitely, just like Emily said, have been spoiled. And just chill out, wait, and be grateful. Because I haven't been this excited for a video game console or games for a console ever. So I'm sure Nintendo has earned your faith, just like a lot of other big and popular companies have. So yeah, just be patient. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.